Sorry to interrupt your regularly scheduled program, but we have just learned of a scandal that has taken place at Expert Consultants International, a local firm here in New Jersey. Due to the recent recession, the company has been struggling. They once was a booming business led by four partners, including our culprit, Linda Capri Knoxville. Linda and her now ex-husband, Marty, lived in an upscale neighborhood nearby the company. Because Linda felt threatened by a recent merger, she began to make large purchases for herself from the company. Many employees began to notice, including Kendra Mashikos, who is a no-nonsense administrator and is a great source of information. We have obtained a copy of Kendra during one of our main smoke breaks um, talking about the current situation and this was all filmed through the surveillance cam cameras of the company. Hey Trudy, this is Kendra. I'm up here at work and uh, you know what I overheard Linda saying the other day? She's been stealing all these laptops and printers and uh, just having them sent straight to her from the business. She, and we were looking for a fax machine. She had that sent straight to her house too. We couldn't even find it. Oh, and you know what else? She's getting the company to pay for her chiropractor. And her back ain't the only one out of whack, girl. Mine is too. That's, that's crazy. All right, Trudy, I gotta go. I'll catch you later. Joining us live is our own Veronica Corningstone and Mr. Shepard Jenkins, CEO and major shareholder of EIC. Hello, this is Veronica Corningstone coming to you live from EIC headquarters. I'm joined today by Mr. Shepard Jenkins, the president and majority shareholder of the company. Mr. Jenkins, tell me a little about Linda Capri Knoxville. Well, prior to the company's merger, Linda was an equal partner in the company. Um, after the merger took place, uh, she was put in charge of the restructuring program and felt that her skills were not being adequately used. Um, and from there, it just all went downhill. What exactly do you mean by it went downhill? Uh, well, Linda was used to being the queen of the company. Uh, she had great authority and no one would ever tell her what to do. Uh, but in the recent months, she felt that her skills weren't being um, put to good use and seemed to just stop caring about the company altogether. What exactly did Ms. Capri Knoxville do? Well, she was abusing her um, authority and she was spending all the company's money on large purchases for items for herself. Why weren't her like actions questioned a long time ago? Well, you see, I was best friends with Marty, which is now Linda's ex-husband, and I didn't want to jeopardize my friendship with him uh, by questioning his wife. Um, also, the company has been thriving for the past, you know, years. and. These expenses seemed minor in light of the large profits that our company was seeing. It wasn't until the recent downturn that I started questioning her behavior. Alright, tell me a little bit about this surveillance video of Kendra using the investigation, especially in reference to these chiropractic fees. You know, it really makes me mad. Linda was a runner and in very good shape. It turns out she wasn't even going to the chiropractor. She made fake invoices and pocketed the money. Um, in fact, she hadn't even been in four years. But you know, Miss Corningstone, I've had enough questions for today. Thank you. Well, I guess that's it for today. Stay classy, San Diego. Thank you, Miss Corningstone. So you're probably wondering, how do I prevent this from happening in my company? Linda's fraud was a classic case of a disenchanted executive who felt like the company owed her. She abused her authority by stealing. The behavior was fueled by a lack of a total lack of controls and very lax attitude toward reimbursements. Linda was in the position to override controls and do whatever she wanted. Very few preventative internal controls were in place in this company. A company such as this should have separation of duties in place. This has been a production of LLC. And that's the way the cookie crumbles.